Prince George of the Jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. Now when he gets in a straight, he'll make his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape. And then away he'll shut on his elephant chef while Maggie and Ursula stay in step. I said, George, George, George of the Jungle, friend to you and me. <laughs> Watch out for that tree. the jungle, a plane suddenly loses altitude. We've got to lighten our load. Don't even think about it. I spent all morning making that 10-pound sandwich. Then what? In the jungle below, George, that most dignified and kingly of heroes, wrestles with this latest obstacle. Huh? Hey, I can't see. Sure hope there aren't any. Oh. Thanks to this, it gave me good luck. Underpants on your head? Ew. How was that lucky? George didn't fall on Ursula and hurt her. Hmm. Well, yeah, I guess that is lucky. But, um, ew. Underpants. That doesn't seem right. <laughs> Lucky or what? Lucky? You landed head first in the termite mound. Oh, but I'm making thousands of new friends. Ow! Hi! Ow! Hello! Hi there! And I owe it all to this! My lucky hat! Ow! I was on my way to get something to eat. You wanna come? <laughs> no thanks. Playing bite bite sting sting with my new ow friends kinda wore me out. Uh huh. Maybe you should just try to. Sleep. Yeah. Lucky. 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 Hey, Howie. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, hey ape! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give me the usual. Sprinkles? You know it. Feeling lucky? Guess how many ticks are in the jar and you, you, you win! What do you win? A jar full of ticks. Oh. Uh, be right back. You better be! You, you, you haven't paid! Oh. <laughs> Lucky. 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 George, could uh, I just Lucky. borrow this? Just to test it. <laughs> Two thousand six hundred and... That's exactly right! The contest is over! You <laughs> win! Yes! This really is lucky! Oh. <laughs> I thought I'd never get rid of those ticks. Now to get rid of these leeches. <laughs> George, uh, I thought you were napping. A uh, 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 tick snack? You're probably wondering about this. Uh, I uh, borrowed it uh, because I uh, needed a little luck. Y yeah. And and you know what? It worked. Uh, th this is lucky. I can't just hold on to it for a while. Fine. Let me do just one thing first. What? Run? <laughs> hey! Hey! 
This is my lucky backpack. It's a lucky hat. <laughs> George, you're riding a Razorback pig. <laughs> Doesn't that hurt? <laughs> yes. <laughs> my good luck strikes again. <laughs> uh, hey, my pigs! <laughs> This isn't lucky! No! <laughs> Tookie Tookie! Get Lucky Hat from A! Ah! Tookie Tookie! <laughs> Good job! Now bring Hat to George! Ah! Tookie Tookie! You've really got control of these animals, don't you, George? Yes! Thank you for noticing. Wonder if there's anything inside it to plug up this little old link. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> it worked! This is my lucky handbag! Oops! <laughs> Ursula! Look at my new lucky handbag! Ugh. Magnolia, that's somebody's undies. Oh, well, I don't care what you call it. This lucky handbag saved me from drowning, and then it led me to these beautiful flowers. There's no such thing as lucky underwear. How can you say that? Smell these. <laughs> that is lucky. I told you! <laughs> Are you all right? Uh, I will be, as soon as I get my lucky handbag back. You be my oh. lucky hat! No. Oh. My lucky backpack! Hey! My handbag! <laughs> hey! Sorry, Megs. Not at first. Give me that hat! That's mine! Step away from the backpack. Give me that! It's a handbag and it's mine! Come on! Oh, 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 oh. Oh. First, George found a hat. A lucky hat. But it's not making me feel so lucky anymore. George feels something George never felt before. Hmm. Not this. I know. George is mad at his friends. Me too. Us, Us too. too. George going to get rid of it. He's right. I want to stay friends too. I'll get rid of it. I'm the one who cares about you all the most. I'll get rid of it. Oh, is this like a competition to see who likes everyone else the most? Because I'm in! I'll get rid of it! No, I said I was gonna do it! I'll get rid of it! We'll all get rid of it! Hmm. Let's take it somewhere so awful, we'll never be tempted to bring it back. The river of poisonous piranhas? <laughs> The cave of the spitting bats? <laughs> the valley of the stink pits! <laughs> oh, gross. Yeah. We could take a picnic! And so, our forthright foursome set forth to unload the unlucky undies. <laughs> they endured harsh rain, wind, <laughs> and for some reason, meat. But through it all, their friendship kept them warm. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Magnolia! Snap out of it right now or I'll take away your underpants. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, well, let's go. <laughs> Yeah, the valley of the stink pits. That smell is hideous. Excuse me. Let's get rid of these once and for all. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 absolutely. So we do. Yeah. We all let go at the same time. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Right. absolutely. So we do. Yeah. One, two, three. Somebody 
we didn't let go. It was me. None of us let go. Now look at us. <gasps> Somebody do something quick. Quick, does anyone have a needle and thread? <laughs> Who carries around a needle and a thread? Will a staple gun work? What? They're really handy. Everybody in! And so, against all odds, and physics, George of the Jungle proves true the old saying. It's not what you bring to the stink pits, it's what you do once you get there. Are the, uh, underpants gone? Looky, looky! Ducky, ducky! It's afternoon in the jungle, when all the animals settle in for a nap. Ouch! Except one. Woohoo! Fifty points! George, what are you doing? Playing a new game George invented. What game? Whack-a-pal? It's called Throw, Kick, Hit Stuff. But I guess stuff could include pals. Pal! Forty points! Ten points off since you were standing right in front of me. It was easy. Super. I think I'll go take my nap inside where I'm safe. Ow! Yeah! <sighs> Guess what? what? Huh? Oh, good, you're awake. George just figured out how two people can play throw kick hit stuff. Great. Now you just need to find someone to play with you. Please! Ape can go first. After me. Bye. Five hundred points. Eight's a natural. I am. Yeah, but you'll have to score a lot more to catch up with the throw kick hit stuff champion. Give me that nut. So George, how many points is different stuff worth? Well, trees are only worth ten points because they don't move. Squirrel is worth one hundred points. How come I was only worth fifty points? Ape's a slower target. Ah! Tukey's worth 10,000 points. Very hard to hit. Hey, I did it! So that's 10,000 points for me, right? Oh, it uh, doesn't count. The nut only touched his tongue. Oh, how much is Tukey's tongue worth? <sighs> 50,000 points. Ape's been very, very lucky. Or maybe very, very, very better than you. Well, this next event separates the Georges from the Apes. Bring it on. Hit the crocodile's back. 100,000 points. <laughs> but, uh, but no fair. You stepped over the line. What line? Uh, that one. You're just jealous because I'm better than you. <gasps> George is not jealous. First one to get to the village is not jealous. Oh. Where are you going? To play whack roll putt. Take afternoon off. I told you it's called golf. And I told you that is not a real word. I tell you it isn't. What you making? It's my jungle porridge. It's breakfast time for a certain patient. <laughs> Please, haven't I been through enough? Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Not jealous first! <laughs> hey, what is that? A cake? <laughs> Ooh, cake! First one to eat all the batter wins! <laughs> Chisel! <laughs> no offense, Ursula, but that cake is terrible! Water, please. Hey, George can rinse better than eight. 
Ow! I'm burning! George can burn better. <laughs> George is better at burning. I don't know. Butt versus foot. I'd have to go with the butt. Tough call, though. Ugh, if you guys are going to compete over everything, it needs to be organized. Lucky for you, I went to sleep over referee camp. I'll be the head cheerleader. Give me an A. Give me a George. Hope you don't fall into a gorge. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Yay! Oh, George's sick of contests. Wish he could go back to just hanging out with Ape. George will let Ape win next game and be winner once and for all. Oh, and don't tell him. <sighs> Tukey, I miss hanging out with George. Maybe I should just lose the next game and let him be the winner once and for all. Yeah, but don't tell him. Ah, okay, okay. <sighs> These contests are so boring. Totally. I wish they would pick a game that's fun for us. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> The next contest is the Build Ursula a Hot Tub Contest. And then Organize Magnolia Stuffed Animals Contest. Fine. And begin. <gasps> These are hot tubs? Try George's first. Um, I don't think so. Ooh, George loses. Wait, but try mine. How is this a hot tub? Oops, did you say hot? Oh darn, I lose. Mm. Oh, I can't wait to see all the stuff in <gasps> George did that. George loses. No, I did, and I lose. Called that trying to beat each other? What happened to that winner takes all spirit? Well, George wanted to lose. No, I wanted to lose. Hey, I'm a bigger loser. No, I'm a bigger loser. No! Wait! Are y'all having a losing contest? Yes! Oh. Well then, maybe this man lose. No! <sighs> okay. Magnolia will show you some casts of animal tracks. Maggie from Ursula's lovely dry jungle porridge. And <clears throat> the contestant with the lowest score wins and is the biggest loser. Okay, let's play. First plaster cast. Lion! One point for George. Darn! This is gonna be tough. Okay, next question. Boa constrictor! Oops! Oh, I got it right again! <laughs> Okay, it's time for the final bonus question. Worth ten points. <laughs> ah, a mouse! Mouse is correct. George is the biggest loser. Congratulations! Thank you. Well... Hard not losing, but you lost fair and square, so I can't complain. Uh, Time for one final contest. Didn't we already have the final contest? <laughs> Gotta have one more contest! One more contest! Okay, I hope it's something relaxing. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah! Brand new game! Throw cake hit slippery fruit onto Worm's tail. Whoever throws a piece of slippery fruit and hits Earthworm's tail wins forever! Uh, no more winners ever again! Uh, Ape go first! Uh, go! Ouch! Ah, perfect! Oh, that's gonna be tough to beat. Probably impossible. <laughs> Ape wins! Just a minute, George. Officially, your fruit is still moving. <laughs> no, down. Put the fruit down. 
down. Just eat it for crying out loud! <laughs> Hey, Hawk, stop by! I'll catch you! No, 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 no! Ouch! No! Why do good things always happen to George? You hit it! Uh, looks like a tie. We're gonna have to have another contest. George is never competing again! Same here. I say we keep the two pieces of fruit to remind us. Agreed! Hmm. Hello. Slippery fruit. Hey, that's our fruit. We need it to remind us not to compete. Yeah. Compete, eh? Sounds like fun. How about a pouch race? A uh, pouch race? What's that? I think I'm gonna barf. Yeah, George will barf more. Oh, no, you won't. No, really, I will. <laughs> doesn't interrupt his lunchtime for just anything. Stop! <laughs> Stop! Hmm. <laughs> Is it a cry for help? Stop! Are two enemies locked in mortal combat? Stop! Stop! Oh, oh, oh. Or is it the annual birthday batch of Howie the Howler Monkey? <laughs> Make a wish! <laughs> <gasps> Look at that! It's a great big party, and you get a cake, a fire, and you get a fucking rhinoceros. Hmm, sounds like you're talking about a birthday party. Oh, oh, yes, a, a birthday party. <laughs> What's a birthday? A party for your birthday, remember? Hmm. Oh, George is having a hard time remembering something that's never happened. You've never had a birthday party, have you? George, I haven't had a crisp, crunchy termite all day. Could you get me one? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I thought you were afraid of termites. Ape! I can't believe George has never had a birthday party. We don't really know when he was born. I thought he was the same age as you. How old are you anyway? In eight years, I'm five. <laughs> the happiest memories of my whole life are at my birthday parties. <laughs> Here we go! Crispy, crunchy, turd night! Hey, uh, what's wrong? Termite! George, knock it off! Oh, come on! Giddy up! No! Please! No! Please! No! Please! Please! No! Oh. Huh? We have got to throw George his own birthday party. We've got to get him a present. It's got to be something so perfect. <gasps> it makes up for all the years he's never had a birthday. Whatever it is, he'll be plenty surprised. <gasps> I'm getting a fucking rhino!
up with some ideas of our own. <laughs> so what did you get for George? A six-in-one frog zapper. It's a frog and it catches flies. Don't all frogs catch flies? But this one also catches mosquitoes, licks envelopes, changes light bulbs, and picks up coins that fall behind the dresser. That's five things. Maybe number six is it gives you warts. I got your these. Now who wouldn't love these? What'd you get him? Something practical. Something he's always needed. Shorts? Uh, George has a thing about pockets. Help! Help! George to the rescue! Let's see. Rescue manual. Sandwich. Banana. First aid kit. Up. Oh, second aid kit. Compass. Six in one frog zapper. Tookie Tookie Bird. After sandwich snack. Drink. Help already! <laughs> Let's just make him a nice fruit basket. Everybody wants some kind of present. And we can't give him a birthday party until we make up our minds about what to give him. A fucking rhino! George wants a fucking rhino! Uh, is that George spying on us? No, uh, no! It's just us ostriches! Come on, that is not what we sound like. <laughs> No. George is going to love the gift we're getting him. Why, it's exactly what he wanted. And he'll never think to look at the top of Mount Way up there. <laughs> <gasps> My fucking rhino! <laughs> <sighs> at least now we can figure out what to get him in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Friends hide George's present really well. Huh. Oh, nothing up here but this giraffe. <gasps> hey, wait a minute! Giraffe must be gift! Woohoo! I love it! <gasps> a fucking giraffe is even better than a fucking rhino! When we find the perfect gift for George, we'll know it. <laughs> That's it! Okay, fucking giraffe! I told you I'm not your birthday present. <laughs> oh, no! George, not that easily fooled. Get ya! Hey, quit kicking! Well, I've only got one to sell you, but I was just talking to another customer about it today. Then we're just in time. We want it. We'll take it. Well, my other customer can be pretty persuasive. Do you know El Grunty? Yeah. Why? He's the other customer. <laughs> Senor Howie, I have decided I must have the mechanical booking rhino. Actually, El Grunty, I was just about to sell the last one to my friends here. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> we just bought it. <laughs> no, my friend. It is I who am sorry. For whatever El Grunty wants, El Grunty gets. We duel. Whoever rides Bucking Rhino longest shall take home the prize. Great. Magnolia? Ape! Mm. Well, okay. What could possibly go wrong? Oh, come on! I won't tell I found you before my birthday! George, I'm not lying! I'm just up here having a bite to eat! Oh, come on! Fuck now! Eat later! Yeah! <laughs> right on, giraffe boy! Wee! <laughs> that does it! Woohoo! This is more like it! Uh, uh, ole! Uh, <laughs> ole! Uh, ole! <laughs> Uh, only <laughs> invigorating. <laughs> A new jungle record. Six hours thirty-eight minutes. The saddle is still warm, Senor Ape. <laughs> All right then. Whoa. Hey. 
Okay. This is easy. Yes, the warm-up period is quite easy. It should be up to full speed soon. Oh, dear. <laughs> George would like cargo shorts, wouldn't he? The earrings I got him would look very elegant if he wore the right shoes. It's my... <laughs> Thank you, Ursula. Uh, you're welcome. But my best present of all is the visit from my old pal, El Grunty. <laughs> what? Happy first birthday, old friend. <laughs> I hope you like your present. <gasps> my fucking Rhino! <laughs> Deep in the jungle, shut off from the conveniences of modern life, animals and man alike must create their own forms yeah. of entertainment. <laughs> Like snake ball. Incoming! Miss! Oh, yeah? <laughs> 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 Oh no! Which doctor's witch doctoring witch doctor's dick? Ah! a copy of a witch doctor's dick? Sorry. I just ate a hoagie. Too fully. Close enough. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Tasty. Making a stew for me, for you. That tastes just like a doggy's shoe. Mm. <laughs> I can fix that. Making a stew for me, for you. <laughs> yeah, past its expiration. Oh. <laughs> oh. Now, where'd I leave my witch doctor witch doctrine stick? Oh, ha! There it is. 
Now back to my stew that won't taste like dog stew. <laughs> Just a stick. What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> ducky, ducky. <laughs> so, George has a question. Uh, what would happen if your dad's witch doctor witch doctoring stick got broken, huh? <laughs> <laughs> George was just wondering, that's all. <laughs> oh, phew, because my dad always told me that if anything happens to that stick, jungle will be destroyed by evil spirits. <laughs> Stop doing that! So, how does Squirrel think evil spirits will destroy jungle? Earthquake? Tornado? Giant theme park with high-priced parking? Nah, I'm thinking a giant monster eats everything in its path. Plants, animals, people, everything. And then the entire jungle digests slowly in its gut. Hi there! Ah! <laughs> Oops. Oh, I'll get to it in a minute. What can I do for you, George? George needs help figuring out how to move something. Uh, what kind of something? Oh, the jungle. Just for a change of scenery, you know? When I want a change of scenery, I just back up the old camper. Because there's... Remember how everyone always says they want to go camping? Not no. <laughs> no, I don't. Right. So... Surprise camping trip! Huh? Huh? <laughs> Where are we going? Someplace far away, so that when the jungle gets eaten oh. to bits, we'll... Eaten to bits? Uh, no, uh, George said jungle is made of bits. Yeah, but now it's one big bit. But what are the other animals gonna do without us? <sighs> George way ahead of Ape. What's a food court? <laughs> Road trip! Go away! George, there's no motor on this thing. Right! As George pulled his friends to safety, he found renewed strength, even though his intense guilt slowly festered inside him. Or it may have been all that trail mix. I gotta go to the bathroom again. You know, it is kind of peaceful out here. Peaceful? Oh, oh, really? Oh, well, that's just what they want, Ape, to think while well, they plan our destruction. I think you need more trail mix. 68 bunches of bananas on the trees. 68 bunches of bananas. If one falls down, pass it around. 67 bunches of bananas on the trees. Everybody! Are we there yet? I'm getting car sick. Uh. I'm kidding. <sighs> nah, I'm serious. Yeah. This trip is officially not fun. Why are we stopping, George? George sees an evil-looking rock! Neat! Can we go now? One moment! <laughs> 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 That's one evil spirit who won't get us. <laughs> George will save you! <laughs> Back home. All righty, let's move them up. <sighs> it's like sitting in 
some traffic, but there is no traffic. George, I know you wanted to have a nice trip, but maybe we should just go home? <gasps> yeah, I really miss home. Be right back. <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom again. We'll be here when you get back. Keep your eyes covered. George has big surprise. I hope it's a bathroom with toilet paper. Okay, open your eyes. <gasps> We're home? I'm going to wash my hair. No, George thinks we should just stand right here for a while and uh, not touch anything. Sorry, George, but I'm really hungry. You, it wouldn't work. <laughs> George, what are we doing here? We wanna go back to the jungle! You can't! And it's all George's fault! What? Oh, George broke Witch Doctor's Witch Doctoring stick, so now evil spirits are gonna eat the jungle and us! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I made that up when Magnolia was little, so she wouldn't mess with my stuff. <laughs> I have hundreds of these things. I break them all the time and nothing happens. Go ahead. See? Nothing. Hey! <laughs> You're right! Evil spirits. <laughs> George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. with the new Mantler comic book. <sighs> George? George? <laughs> I hate to be a bother, but remember when you said you'd mow our roof? <sighs> I'll do it! <laughs> I thought you already raked up these coconuts. Oh, I was... busy? <laughs> Ugh, George, isn't it your turn to be the scarecrow in our cornfield today? This is not a good look for me. Yeah, and I thought you said you were going to wash all the sticky off the vines. Uh, but, but I... Come on, you guys. Let's go do something incredibly fun. See you when you finish your chores, George. Oh. <laughs> Oh, wait! Oh, chores! <laughs> you get a meddler? <gasps> That's using your head! Oh! Make it rain with your own rain totem. Only 25 cents. <gasps> hey! Then George won't have to do chores! Rain totem! George is gonna make it rain. To make it rain. One, set totem on ground. Two, ask totem for rain. Oh, man, why did they have to make it so complicated? 
Oh, great rain spirit, whose sacred name is... Uh... Chuck? Chuck? Uh. Chuck! Uh, make it rain! <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, hi. I'm looking for Chuck, the, uh, the rain spirit. You caught him. Oh. Great and mighty, Chuck. Make it rain. You ever hear the magic word? No. Oh, I I've heard the witch doctor say, Earth, rain, rain, is here, rain, 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 is here. Uh, is that what you mean? Whatever. Here. <laughs> You're welcome! Gee! <laughs> oh, Mantler, you're the funniest man with antlers ever! <laughs> Yet, so brave. This rain is so not fair! Yeah! Wow. Uh, yeah! I sure do wish this rain would stop so I could do more chores! We were gonna take you on a trip to Mount Way Up there to go grass skiing. Grass skiing? Oh, I love grass skiing! And then we were gonna go have dinner at the Pile of Nye. The all-dessert restaurant? Sorry, George. <laughs> Oh, Chuck! 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 What? Jeez, I'm busy! Yeah, uh, listen, I was just thinking, could you maybe make it stop raining, please? Give me one good reason why I should. Oh, well, see, my friends wanted to take me grass skiing and, uh... Grass skiing? I love grass skiing! Can I come, can I come? I'll be your best friend! Oh, well, Ape is already best friend. Please? Well, what do we tell my friends? That you summon the rain spirit to get out of doing your chores? Yeah, I didn't know. How about you're my new friend Chuck from Detroit? Your new best friend. <laughs> Let's go! Come on! New best friend. <laughs> George, we can take you on the surprise trip now. Yeah, let's go. Hiya, Red. How's that donut diet working out, Slim? Psych! Oh, that never gets old. Oh. Uh, who's that? He's just some guy I know. Name Chuck. Well, that's cleared up. Let's go. So. How about that, Chuck, huh? Yeah, he's something all right. Yeah, heck of a guy. So, who's up for ditching him? No, oh, wait, maybe he's just nervous. Look at him. Mine, give me that, or my mine, not yours, mine, 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 no asking me to share. Hey, George, this is the best, right? Where'd everybody go? Oh, uh, they had to leave. Yeah, uh, emergency. No, yes, nap time. They had emergency naps to take. <laughs> what does that mean? You think it was my fault they were always in my way? Uh, it, it was kind of your fault you were, you know. What? I thought I was your new friend. You gonna take the side of your old friends? Well... No, no, don't try to win me back now, okay? I know when I'm not wanted. You and your friends are all a bunch of phony baloney. I'm taking my pie-filled cake and my cake-filled pie, and I'm out of here. You. I heard that! Remember, I'm a nature spirit, which reminds me, I'm taking my rain back now! Has anybody noticed that the water around here has been a little dry lately? I've noticed. Come on, water. 
Come on, water. Uh, uh, come on, one more, one more. It's like the whole jungle's gone dry. Hmm. It doesn't make sense. Mm. This is supposed to be the rainy season. Uh, <laughs> yep, <laughs> pretty dry. Well, I better go to another dance for that bratty rain spirit, Chuck. <gasps> Wait, Chuck? The rain spirit? <laughs> The one George brought along on our trip? The one we all ditched? Yeah, the one who thinks you guys are all a bunch of phony baloney. George! Well, there's no way Chuck's gonna help us now. George will get water for everybody. Don't worry about a thing. Chuck! I'm sorry! Well, well, well. If it isn't Mr. I don't need a rain spirit. Hey, we're all real sorry for what happened. Maybe in a few years when you become, you know, likable, we could all hang out. Gee, you're all so sincere. I feel like a fool. If only I could make it up to you. Oh, well, uh, you could make it rain. <laughs> yeah, I guess I could. It's raining big, shiny hailstones. Or that's a bowling ball. <laughs> you didn't say what you wanted it to rain. Should be safe here. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> I'll make a rain cheese dip next time. <laughs> Charles T. Rain Spirit, you get over here right now. Uh oh, where'd you put my bowling ball? Uh, I was just playing. You got chores to do. A rain spirit, not a your spirit. Charles, tell your cloud right now. Don't make me come after you. Oh, witch doctor, you're still gonna take me dancing, right? <laughs> you know it, Mother Nature. George has to rake up these coconuts. No! And bowling balls. To live in the jungle, you must be cunning. Quick witted. And very, very smart. Or not. Have you noticed that Tuki has been acting strangely lately? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hmm. It's simple. Your Tuki bird is full of evil spirits. Luckily for you, I just had my evil spirits horn tuned up. Uh. <laughs> ah. George, Tuki Tuki Bird is suffering from a complex gastrointestinal bloating disorder. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. He has gas. Evil spirits! Gas! <laughs> Evil spirits! Gas! <laughs> <laughs> No, we're curing Tookie of evil gas spirits. Uh, boys, there's nothing wrong with Tookie Tookie. He's in love. Ah. With her. Ooh, ooh. 
Huh? What do you mean? Uh. Yeah. <laughs> you mean little turkey? <laughs> Is it love? <laughs> turkey. <laughs> Who could ever fall in love with a girl? George doesn't get it. I'm already your pal. What do you need a girl for? <laughs> this new girl thing is gonna wreck our whole guy, a bird, two girls, and elephant thing. It's love, George. And it makes people do the most wonderful things, like getting makeovers. Ha! Tookie doesn't want a haircut. That's so funny, George will laugh right now. Ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! That's the one! It's perfect! Ah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, if you want her to notice you, you need to give her something to remember you by. Ah. Something a girl would really like. Uh, a fluffy kitten that never grows big, and its pink nose doubles as a pot lip gloss. I was thinking more like a worm. Give her this. George of the jungle, I'm surprised at you. <laughs> You're Tukey's best friend. Why aren't you being helpful? Yeah. Everybody act normal. I found out that it's the natural behavior of the oo bird to select her mate based on who builds the strongest nest. So if Tukey builds a strong nest, he's got a chance with her? Right. Uh, whose side is Ape on? Well, I'm on the side of nature, and in nature, you just have to go with whatever happens naturally. Okay, Tukey. Big nest, okay? See? You build. Uh, help? A trial nest. Why, he's building the biggest nest this jungle's ever seen. George, I'm really proud of you. I love it. Once George had a plan, it was easy. Right, Ape? And Ape? Close the garage door. <laughs> <laughs> Shouldn't the nest be in the tree? <laughs> Ready, everyone? <laughs> Ready up here. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> silly me. Yeah, 
that's, uh, that's, that's, that's good there. George saw two coconuts sitting together on the ground once. They looked happy. George, I'm talking about real love. Look at Tookie Tookie. He is so happy, so in love, so blissful, so... <laughs> Leaving? Tookie, what's wrong? Why is Tookie hiding? <laughs> but... Tookie wants a girlfriend, right? To wreck all our good times, right? Tookie, Tookie! George doesn't get it. George, it turns out that whoever the oo-oo bird chooses for a mate, the other oo-oo birds attack it to see if it can defend itself. Hmm. George! Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. Oo-oo! <laughs> oh, uh-oh, oo-oo, yeah. <laughs> Tell you what a sweet thing you did. Okay, okay. <laughs> Help! Close the garage door! <laughs> <laughs> 